The new Lightroom 15 update has some amazing new features for landscape photography. And one of them is a play on the new variance slider. This can be found under color mixer, click on point color and the variance slider is at the bottom. And this has been improved greatly and is a great help for fine tuning colors in landscape photography. And there are three key areas which I think will be very useful when you edit your photos. Number one, color separation or introducing color contrast into your scene. So if we look at this image I have with the rainbow and the canola fields, which are nice and yellow in the foreground, you can see that the green of the stem of the canola is not well separated from the yellow of the flower head. And if we just use this variant slider and we pull it down, you see it makes it more yellow. And if we pull it up, you see how it creates that separation and that color contrast and moves the stem more to the green and the flower head more to the yellow orange side. So we can use that to create color separation and improve our color contrast in our image. Okay, the next really useful way to use the variant slider is if you have patchy colors in your sky. This often happens when you have a very intense or colorful sunset and you get these variations of color in the sky. Or if you have a lot of blue tones that also have variations maybe created by your polarizer. And you can see in the top corner here, we've got a lot of patchiness happening. We have uneven color tones going from sort of these intense purples into this lighter area. And if we just reduce our variance, you can see how it softens that out and evens up those tones. If we just zoom in over there. If we look at the sky above and we look at the before and we look at the after, you can see how it's just evened out all those tones in the sky and got rid of that patchiness. It's a really great tool for that. Okay, and the third point is it improves consistent and even color tones and removes color differences. So if you've got a lot of color differences happening, particularly in the water here, and particularly to do with your hue, um, you can use the variance to reduce that and create a more even hue between. So in this instance with the bioluminescence, I had very dark blues going to very light blues. And to correct for that, I can just reduce the variance and get a more consistent blue color coming through. Um, and you can see the before and the after just pops that blue out a lot more and creates more even tones in the blue. And you can do the opposite and you can kind of create a bigger separation between the darker blues and the lighter blues to create more color contrast. So it all depends on how you want to use it, um, but a great tool to just create those subtle adjustments when fine tuning your color.